Your new song and video. Every day, man. Every day. Every day. Every day. We're talking about how the, the the engagement on social media and just in general versus your following or your social media following. Because we all know right. social media ain't the equivalent to real life. Exactly. So your social media engagement compared to your social media following was it, it far past, it far exceeded what you expected, I guess. For my debut. Yeah, definitely. That's definitely. lit. First of all, congrats, bro. Um, Thanks, man. I appreciate it. And, and the thing, uh, I wanted to know why every day as your debut. I just felt as though it was an anthem. It was the anthem to give to the people, you know, to the city, to really what's going on here. You feel me? Give them the real Baltimore. I mean, yeah. It was the anthem to give them to get it buzzing and just have them waiting for the next one. That's all. And you just started rapping? I just started January. So why now, though? Like, uh, I mean, my people's fed it on. They pushed it on me. You feel me? Like, it was crazy how it all began. So when you said they pushed it on you, like, they like, yo, you gotta be a rapper. Like, you ain't nah, stuck. You no. wasn't rapping around the house or nothing. It was just, yo, you gotta be a rapper. I mean, type. I've been, I've been loved music. I always loved music. You feel me? I've been in music, but I never took music seriously. Mm -hmm. Then, like, uh. Tato, my little cousin. TSO. My, yeah, TSO. Shout out Tato. That's my cousin, you feel me? He, uh, when he was working on the 295 EP, mm -hmm. you feel me? I was coming past the studio and Artie would just, every time I walk in there, Artie, the producer engineer, he'd look at me and be like, bro, you on rap? Mm -hmm. First time, I'm like, nah, bro. Second time I come in there, he on it like, bro, you don't rap? You feel <laughs> me? I'm on it like, my nigga, like, yo, we don't take this serious, you feel me? So, and it was the third time I came in there, he just was really pressing me, like, bro, you don't rap, you feel me? I'm like, yo, I can talk my shit or something, like, let's give it a shot. So, I spit something, you feel me? I came out, like, bro, that was cool. They was on it, like. Was it a freestyle or, like, you wrote it? No, nah, it was a freestyle. I was punching in. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. So, do you think, you think from January to now is uh, August? You think you take it rapping serious? Oh, definitely. Cause, Cause after it happened, when I did the freestyle, my people's heard it, mm -hmm. and everybody, everyone that heard it, just would be. You wasn't expecting it when you heard it. You feel me? So they just was like, bro, you gotta keep going. Like that's you. You had that in you all this time. You feel me? So that's how that happened. I only ask like you take it serious because you know uh, a lot of niggas or people in general they rapping and they say you would ask them like, are you a rapper? They're like, no, nah, I'm not a rapper. I just do it for fun. Like six nine had an interview. And he was like, "Man, I just go in the booth and say what the fuck I want to say." No, nah, I take this. This is my job now. Once I uh, put it in my mind that I was taking it serious, feel it became it became it became my job. Figuring out the business side and all the thing and building up, finding that brand and building it. Definitely. Yeah. And so, so the freestyle from the freestyle to now, do you uh, do you freestyle a lot? Do you catch yourself only freestyling, or do you write music too? It's both. It's both. Now it's good to hear because like it's being that you just started and yeah. I don't want to say I don't want to compare you to other artists but sometimes you got to do that in the field so a lot of artists nowadays be like yeah. nah I don't, I don't write I just freestyle and I'm, I'm like not. shit if you can write some shit that should sound good I, I'd rather you write the shit right structuring it that was mainly you feel me that's when you're really taking it serious when you really structuring your songs you feel me so yeah, I'm taking it serious, it's my job, but freestyling is more so me practicing and perfecting my craft to make it, because it's natural, but it's getting better by me practicing at it, you feel me, trying to perfect it, that's all, you feel me, with the freestyling, sometimes people would call me, I go back, write it down, you feel me, but definitely, just, I go in, you uh, feel me? So it's like Joe Gino. That's your your name or like that's just the artist name type thing. I mean, it was it was my. Niggas been calling you that. Yeah, it's been my name. Yeah, it's been my name. Shout out, shout out to my guys. You feel me? But that's been one of my names. And uh, but no, it's my stage name now. You feel me? So, Gino. You feel me, Joe Gino? Yeah, that's me now. Yeah. now I'm I'm curious to know like man, cause I'm not a rapper or like a singer, but I'm in the entertainment industry, right? And um, a lot of things I done saw just with the, the relationships and just people in general in this industry, it can be like just shaky. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to know how since January to August, how has it been for you? Like far as just the industry people, the relationships you making and things like that. I mean, hey, 
I try to give out the energy that I'm giving in, I mean, bringing towards them. You mm-hmm. feel me? So, soon as I don't feel that energy, you feel me, uh, when I first meet somebody or whatever, because I work with a lot of guys, that's what I'm open to. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, showing the world that Baltimore has that talent, if not better. You feel me? So, definitely being open, but I mean, to each his own, because you never know who you're talking to. You feel me? So, yeah, I just go and I treat people how I want to be treated. And when mm-hmm. I'm not, it's just, you know, I just, hey. So, I, I so you don't think, like, better. you don't think you've seen niggas act funny? Just like, I don't know, like, I like to put myself in a, in a, in a lot of shoes because I'm I'm one of those type of guys now, right? So, yeah. like, I see my, my social media following is, I'm at 27K. So, a lot of people will be like, man, oh, this nigga only talk to these type of people because he got yeah. this following. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, me, I try to reach out to everybody, but I hear the stories about how those people with those platforms don't reach back or they not really fucking with the niggas that's on the ground level. Right. I'm trying to see, like, have you witnessed that yet? Because I didn't see it even on how how big whatever niggas think I am. Right. I didn't see it on my level. So, I'm wondering, like, yeah. from the ground up, from somebody that just started, have you seen it? And like, did it make you feel the way? Or you probably ain't even run into it yet. No, I, I say I only, I haven't ran into ways though. I, no, I absolutely some a little some something up, but it showed me that I'm doing something right. Cause you want to be a part of what I'm doing <laughs> okay. at the same time. So it showed me that I'm doing something right. I'm gonna keep pushing doing what I'm doing. You feel me? You never, hey, a person going to do what they going to do either. You got to just keep working. No, that's, that's the main fair. thing. You feel that's me? Fair. Keep working. Even if somebody ain't come at you yet, that don't that don't stop your show. The show must goes on. You feel me? So I just tell them to keep working. You feel me? The ones that do feel that from someone. And the ones that want to get pulled up by another one. You feel mm-hmm. me? You got to show that you want it. You feel me? Cause, no, that's a fact. Because yeah. um, actually, like, somebody had somebody had made a post about me. Um not too long ago, a couple of days ago, and they were just saying like how they wanted to get on my show and freestyle and shit. Yeah. And I haven't got a chance to get to them, but I done helped other niggas out. But through that, through all that, right, I seen the frustration in it, and I'm like, I wonder, like, who is treating niggas bad or not really reaching back out there for them, for them to say that I'm not, because I'm reaching back out to everybody. I try to. Definitely, because I appreciate you. No, I didn't, Definitely, I didn't shit, but uh, man, what I say to them is. You know, man, stay on a positive note. Right. If anything. Facts. That's you feel fact. me? Because doing that way, trying to uh, call somebody out, you know, you just showing the next person how you would be if they was to have a conversation with you and then it don't happen on your time. Right. You feel me? That's all you're saying. You're not letting things work within itself. You just. So I'm assuming like the niggas that don't pay you no mind, you just don't even recognize them. I guess like niggas that don't like try to pull you up. You reach out to somebody and they don't try to give you that help hand. That make me it's go just, harder. You gonna see me? Nah, right. That's a, that's a fact. That's a fact. Cause nigga, hard. I be going through that shit myself. Niggas, that, I don't know what niggas think. I am. I be applying for for jobs yeah. and shit, radio jobs. I don't be getting answers and shit like that. Yeah. So I just wonder how it feel like. Cause I'm on the other side. I've been doing this since like 2014. Radio, I've been doing for maybe two years now. Yeah. And by me having that that timing on my belt and you just starting, I wonder like. How, like is that still there and clearly it still is mm-hmm. so like I just want to get so into the rap career what what do you plan for yourself and let's say just by the end of 2018 for real I mean by the 2018 I plan on having them sold in on about four or five of my singles then uh, me putting Damn, on my four tape four or five yeah I definitely got material on the shelf you feel me got them ready knocked up why? Wow. Cause I've been working since January. Ever since I put it in my mind that this was my job, I've been right. I've been working. Yeah, you know, I've been locked in. So it's yeah. all this up to my too. Why? Why do rappers or not even rappers like artists in general like try to push so much music? Cause I feel like if we can just focus on this one hit, it takes so long to make a single. But I just feel like a lot of artists, not even not just saying you aren't. Patient, but I just feel like I see that a lot of times where artists they drop a single, then next six months they drop another single, next six months they drop another single, and I'm like, yo, bro, we local, we could be pushing this for a year or two. Right. I just feel like it ain't even hit the potential of the people that can hear about it. Right. Do you think like I'm trying to figure out why do you feel like you gotta have four or five singles by the end? I of just year? feel it's all a method to the madness because at the same time you got somebody who probably throw a whole tape out at you first and nah. you never heard any of his music. Facts. You feel me? So. As me pitching my uh, singles out, 
in a, a time spread form. You never know how it might drop on you. But this first anthem to get them buzzing got them waiting, you know. Then you throw your next one out. But you don't want to oversaturate everything. You feel me? You want to keep some stuff limited. You feel me? So by the time the tape come, as I'm pitching my singles, you'll know four or five songs that's mm -hmm. on the tape. Yeah. So and then you'll also stay, also be able to project what I'm going to deliver. Like you know, I got something coming, and you don't know what it might sound like or what it might be because it changes. Yeah. Nah, I fuck with it because a lot yeah. of people. Um, so when uh, you know when Cardi B came out, she had like, a couple songs, yeah. and then a lot of it was so it was like fifty fifty because I heard some people like, man, I'm curious to see, see what our tape sound like because I only heard these couple songs. Like she don't really have no songs that make me want to listen to it. Then she dropped the tape, that shit was fire. Exactly. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it can go either way. Exactly. I just, I just right. be curious to see what be going through the artist mind. Right. So like, I don't know, but um, what type of music would you say you make? I would say I make, uh, I'm trying to feed the soul, with, you know, the real, but. My say you say it's real. On a positive, but on a, on a, on a, I want you to feel good at the same, it's real. I'm giving you that real content, but it still keep you in a good, man, in a motivated mode. You feel me? So wait, wait, question. How, how do you, I mean, I'm 29. All right, 29. Yeah. All right. It makes sense now. Cause I'm like, all right. Cause you keep saying positivity and that's dope. Cause like I'm 27. So like, yeah. it, it, I'm like, all right. But usually, like rappers, they just—it's just like they don't get that the positive message. Like it gotta, it don't have to be positive message. But like when you to get be. to a certain age, it's like yo, my nigga, like we we done all that, we been there, done that. Right. But even if it ain't positive, it's still on the universal, trying to keep it more so universal. You know? No, definitely. So more people can relate to it. But it's still my story though. But the way I'm delivering it to you, you can see the I'm painting a picture for you. Like, how do you how do you think your life shaped you into getting to that point? To make him it, it want was to all be God's plan, message. man. I'm still here. I'm blessed. I can't complain. You feel me? Nah, so yeah, my life. I would. Yeah, it made me today, man. Where yeah. you Where you from? Oh, I'm from the west. You where? Come from the west side. From the village. Oh, I'm from Macalong. Yeah, well, that's why I grew up at Macalong. Yeah, the village. Be down. Yeah, village twenty one. Yeah. Nah, that's a fact. So like, I'm just trying. Like I'm trying to get in the mind of Joe Gina when he's making a song. Cause like I hear you saying it's a positive message, you know what I'm saying? Like I want to give people something that they can relate to, and you come from a you come from the village, and all this in Baltimore, and you still trying to give people that paint that picture of like, yo, we can get out of here. I don't have to be where you come from. It's trying to figure out what made you, what got you to that point at this age. I mean, man, look, cause I was I was going to school for mortuary science. You know, I wanted to be a mortician. Well, I was going to be a mortician. You know, I went in my own friend room. So it was crazy how it all happened in the midst of uh, spring semester was ready to start. So I was ready to, uh, I, while I was getting my courses, in the midst of getting my courses, I'm about to pay for my financial aid for that uh, semester. And that was right after Christmas when I was going up studio when he was doing the EP, you feel me? And I uh, started taking the music serious. And when they kept pushing me, like my people's, if they heard the freestyle, every time they would see me, they'd just be like, bro, you ain't been in the studio? Like, mm -hmm. like, nah, bro, like, we need that. No, but you, the way you saying it, we need it, you feel me? And it's inside you, like. It sounds like you got a lot of support, though. Yeah. From at least your family or your close friends. Yeah, definitely. If that's it, that's it. Yeah. How big is it, how big is that you think? To help you it's through. real big that matters it matters a lot you feel me because if they loving it to a certain extent just imagine someone who really don't know me and hear it you feel me you really you feel me like if i can grab them listen Baltimore, we come from baltimore <laughs> man if you can that grab nigga know, these man. niggas here like if that's not a thing anywhere nah. else once Baltimore, because we hard to for Please, people no, to uh, accept definitely. accept something good when they see it you feel me yeah, but yeah, if you can uh, please my people, nah, I you definitely you. can please other people because people in other places heard it, they love it, you feel me? But it's just about getting it out to everybody. Nah, definitely. So, wait, I'm trying to figure out uh, which you got the name of the next song that's dropping? Yeah, On My Grind. Damn, my nigga got everything laid out. Yeah. Shit. And, yo, like, I'm, because when I talk to you, it's like, I'm trying to stay, because in my mind, it's like, I got to stay on track of the music, right? Yeah. But it just seemed like you such a down to the earth person. Like I yeah. could talk to you about just about anything, and I didn't even know you went to college. But like, what, what yeah. school you went to? CCB, sir. Well, uh, Catonsville. You just like you just came out, or 
No, I, um, see, when I, uh, I graduated with 07, mm -hmm. high school, so I took like a year or two off of school, went back to school. You know, I was working in UPS, uh, did like two semesters, and then like uh, laid off for like a year or two, mm -hmm. and then, but I mean, as you grow from Baltimore, you know, you out here no, and bother right. yourselves, and you still survive, and you, you, you is is a reason you need to find your reason to, to get your purpose in life. You feel me? So no, I get it. So yeah. what what do you think your message that you want to give to the people when you when people listen to your music and look at your videos? What do you want them to take from it? Um, man, I want you to take some of the knowledge that I'm dropping, and you know, just try to uh, put it put some of it into your perspective. You feel me? So. I mean, it can help you in some of your situations because life is more so 90% of your reaction. You That's know, a fact. Your response. You know. Niggas dropping gems in here. Niggas don't even know it. Niggas dropping gems. 90% yeah. of your reaction. That's what it, definitely what it is, man. Nah, for real. Uh, just let niggas know where they can follow you at, what you might be pushing if you want niggas to pay attention oh, to yeah, something. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Definitely. I'm on Instagram. Go uh, the Joe Gino. You feel me? The J-O-G-E-N-O. -E you feel me? The right and way. you got the um, you got the uh, the label page Homer E N T with a zero H zero M E R E N T. Wait, pause. We ain't done yet. We ain't done. Hold on, hold on. So you you got this is a label that you created. Yeah. So you you got your own label. Yeah. And you just started in January. Yeah. What what the fuck? What made uh, uh, like? Usually people don't even do that. Like period. Yeah. Niggas getting their own labels, but like. That's major, I feel like. I wanna to touch on that because that's huge, especially where we come from. What made you do that though? Hey man, if hey, if, if this is what I'm gonna do, it gotta make sense. To, if, you know, it don't make sense, it don't make sense. So we gotta try to figure out some way to make it make sense. No, definitely, I get it. And we say sense, you gotta make money, <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> if you don't make dollars, it don't make sense. We ain't, doing, we ain't in it for the fame, you feel me? We just, but this what the people wanted, so I'm ready to give them what they want, but at the same, same time. Yeah, I got I got miles to feed, man. So you in it for the money, but if you in it for the money, is your heart in it? Exactly. This is my job. You feel me? Like, and I'm I, I don't I try to stay away from negative energy with this. You feel me? So I can produce what's. Nah, I definitely anybody pushing positive, bro. I fuck with it, and like yeah. not just because of the energy, because like. I can tell you whatever you know what I'm saying, but that's yeah, just from a. We done been there, yeah. man. And, you feel me? Like we yeah. come from it. That's a fact. Like we ain't asked for this. We come. It's what we know, but it's more to it. Like it gotta be more than what we what we see every day. You feel me? Well, nah, man. Well, let niggas know what you pushing next. What you want them to uh, see? Oh yeah, and yeah, they always they also can go on the uh, uh, website homeentertainment.com. H zero, feel me? Yeah, Homer with a zero. HomerEntertainment.com, check the website out. And uh, yeah, stay updated on that because we got some content coming pretty, real soon. You feel me? Then you can check me out on Facebook too, Joe Gino, and the label page, uh, Homer Entertainment LLC. That's how you know the nigga old when he say go check me out on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know the nigga. He said go check me out on Facebook. He said, well, that's where the hardcore fans that, you know. <laughs> Is that bro with it, bro? No, man. You already know. Check him out. Joe Gino, the Joe Gino on Instagram. Make sure y'all check out that single every day. You oh, yeah. I mean? Got that on my grind on the way. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Oh, on my grind is on the way. I got, no, I got, you know, I got another song. I'm going a, I'm to a probably throw at him before I give him a joint for the ladies. But I got this joint called It Gotta Be More. You uh -huh. feel me? Because that's the name of my tape coming. You feel me? It Gotta Be More. You feel me? You it's, dropping that before next year? Either the end of next, the end of this year or, or the beginning. beginning. Hopefully. Man, listen, man. Go check out every day, cause that's the shit that's out, man. Get let's get those numbers up, man. Let's yeah, go get those man. views up, man. And subscribe shit. too. Yeah, subscribe, yeah, that's subscribe to on the page. YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, Joe you? Gino. Shit, well. Joe Gino. We here, man. That's the page. You already know my guy Joe Gino. Yeah, that's it, man. It's a wrap. How was that?